Hi, welcome to another Cardboard of the Rings video presentation. We're, we're putting these out fast and furious. Our and podcast we are going is bi-weekly. to stick to this schedule. Yes, yes. It's a daily video. Every morning you can wake up. No. Uh, we'll record them as we can do them. We're not going to set any schedule for ourselves. Uh, it is part of the Cardboard of the Rings crew with you here. It's Brandon, and with me is Brian. Hello. So we're going to play The Long Dark, which is the most recent quest that's come out, though the next one has been previewed. Uh, so we'll give this one a try, and hopefully the listeners can discern some value from it. Uh, most likely, and they say critique is one of the best ways to learn, pointing out all the mistakes we're going to be making because mm-hmm. we are sans Mitch. So that is a little bit tricky. It's the wild part of the cast. No Mitch, no Jared. All rules breaking, misplaying insanity. <laughs> so, uh, if we describe I our quite decks... literally am actually going to play with four heroes. <laughs> no, you are not. Fine. Okay, so let's. <laughs> Where did he even come from? <laughs> I keep him. I keep him built into the deck because he's a good alternate for uh, um, one of my spirit heroes, just in case I need a little more defense rather than questing. Oh, okay. So well, I just have him sense. built in as a permanent addition to the deck. Yes, so you don't have to load two decks. Mm-hmm. That's actually kind of wise. That's that's pretty smart. We should do an advanced octagon tips episode maybe yes. in a year or so. That so, actually would I would like to bring up uh, in case you haven't seen the post that I left on Facebook. Um, I'm trying to organize an event for everybody. Uh, if anyone is able to participate in live time, it would be great. But I would love to get some people on Skype and have a whole bunch of people hosted in an octagon game together. And ideally, I would like to show everyone how to go through the process of installing Octagon, installing all your card sets, and then go through kind of a once-over of how the program actually plays through once you've got it installed. I know Mitch covered parts of it, but I think I'd like to try and help out with the element of installation of the program as well. So Just purely a technical aspect. Yep, yep. And you can call it Rocktagon. I, I planned on it. And set a, a metal track in the background. Yes. Okay, Mitch would be furious at how off track we already are. <laughs> uh, so, in terms of the decks, I've got the same one I've played last time with a minor tweak in that uh, I've removed uh, a couple cards and inserted Campfire Tales. I like Campfire Tales, so Great I card. popped that in there. Uh, my heroes, Boromir, Imrahil, and Hama. Hama hopefully taking advantage of the Eagles are coming interactions, and I can just get all the Eagles into my hand and drop it like it's hot. My resource... Um, Amping is the Horn of Gondor. Normally I'd throw the Steward of Gondor in, but I think you have Steward, right, Brian? I do, yes. Yes, so we don't want to overlap Stewards of Gondor. That can cause trouble, so I'm looking for the Horn to come out. What's the deal with your deck, Brian? I am playing my classic Rohan deck, which is more due to simply not having time to construct another deck. Um, I would like to pop another one out at some point, but for now, I'm just going to stick with the one that I had saved and ready to go. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get going then. So the first thing we want to do is shuffle our decks. And people are going to get to see what's going on on my side of the table. Uh, but yours will be mysterious and unrevealed so that we can have playtest and play talk. So, yes. Uh, I'll shuffle the encounter deck. I've already pulled out the cave torch and attached it to Boromir. So let me just look at the quest here. The first one, 1A, your party is scouting the mines of Moria, searching for signs of orcs. Dark tunnels and twisting passages spread out in all directions. A labyrinthine maze that you could wander in forever if you take the wrong path. Set up. The first player attaches Cave Torch to a hero of his choice. The heroes are really often just sort of on a, like, check it out mission. Okay, and now when we get to Journey into the Black Pit, when revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you discard X locations, where X is one less than the number of players in the game. Minimum of one, which is what we're going to be experiencing. Sorry, solo players, you're getting hosed. Add these locations to the staging area and shuffle the other discarded cards back into the encounter deck. Each location gets plus one threat. If the player's quest unsuccessfully, trigger all lost effects in play. Boo. Okay, so let's let's begin the process. I'm just going to shuffle again because I can't remember if I did. The first card is not a location. Next... We have a location. Wow, and a real gem of a location. <laughs> okay, so this guy goes back and gets shuffled. Boom. Our location is Twisting Passage, 3 Threat, 5 Progress, Forced, B1. 
Before placing progress tokens on Twisting Passage, the first player must make a locate test. If this test is failed, do not place any progress tokens on Twisting Passage and trigger all lost effects in play. That's not good. At least it's your favorite artwork. Yeah, that is true. Look at that. That is insane. <laughs> now, uh, with a locate test, uh, that is when you have to discard a card and then you get to flip a card off the encounter deck and see if it says pass. That's yes. how you do a locate test, right? I believe so. Okay. I've, I've only played this one once. This is the Should one we dig playthrough. out the rule book just to make sure? I feel I feel strongly that that's what you have to do. But maybe in the background you can do that and I'll... I will. Why don't you keep narrating for us? I will indeed. So Twisting Passage is probably the worst location of the set. I remember when we were doing the review, we all agreed that this was a merciless killer of doom. So I guess, are we going to have that three threat in the staging area forever? I'm assuming so, because five turns, five tests, that's pretty bad. Not with Rohan at your at your side. Yeah, I suppose, but Not before placing with progress Rohan at your on side. Twisting Passage, I don't think it matters how we put on Twisting Passage. Anyways, let's get into our resource phase. So I'll resource up to keep this, this ball rolling, because we want to keep these to about an hour. Uh, ideally less, so I'll shuffle mm -hmm. my deck and I'm going to draw oh damn it, I should have drawn many okay, you know what, you go back shuffle, that's the, that's the lazy man solution to that problem <laughs> boom okay, so what have I got here huh? yeah, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep my hand, even though it's sort of on the higher end of my resource needs uh, there's a couple of cards in here that I just I just can't say no to, I love them so I'll draw one more card and yeah quick strike okay so i don't know how that one got into my deck i don't remember putting it in there but the art is so and i have verified your analysis of the locate test okay so uh i'll be first player i guess or have you pressed the button actually i think we already declared me as first player so okay so you're gonna be first player so why don't you do your planning phase so technically i've already attached cave torch to boromir because i'm a gentleman you're a good man and here comes the West Road Traveler. Uh, that is going to be the end of my phase. Okay, and I will pay one resource to bring out the Vassal of the Windlord. There we go. Who is the Windlord? I guess it's Thorndor, and this is his vassal? I agree. Okay, let's go with that. Or it's Boromir. <laughs> yes. Because he does produce an, an inordinate amount of wind, mm -hmm. but through his horn. I'm not talking <laughs> about any other orifice. Okay, so let's quest then. Uh, so why don't you quest away? Okay, and I'll send two. So we're sending two, four, eight, nine. And your boy Theodred gave somebody a resource token, I'm he assuming? He gave himself a resource token. That selfish bastard. He is a greedy man. Okay, so let's start the questing phase here. So the first card is Branching Paths. Oh boy. And it's one threat. Each dark location gets plus one threat. After it leaves play as an explored location, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. Players must choose one of these to reveal and add it to the staging area, moving the other two to the bottom of the deck. Oh, God. One of my favorite flavor uh, functions, however. Yeah, I guess. You got three three paths and you gotta take a branch. Mm -hmm, okay, so mm -hmm. let's go to the next card. Chance encounter. When revealed, put the top enemy in the encounter discard pile into play, engage with the first player. If this effect put no enemies into play, chance encounter gains surge, so it shall surge. So our second card is actually the Orc Drummer. Ugh. While Orc <laughs> Drummer is in the staging area, each enemy gets plus one threat. X is the number of players in the game. Okay, so now our total here, the quest is adding plus one threat to locations. So we've got four, plus it's a dark location, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're dead even. I will then use... Wait, do, are there ill effects if we come in even or... Because that's no. questing unsuccessfully, correct? Oh, yeah, it is. So discard yes, it is. card. Okay, so I will discard... Uh, and throw it on the table so the listeners can see. Sure, I'm going to discard Rider of the Mark. Oh, I really like that guy. 
Don't worry, there's more of them. It's a Rohan deck. Yeah, I do so, like how he comes over and aids me. Is, I, is that what we've determined now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mitch and I determined last night that any beneficial effect generally is affecting my deck in particular. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Understood. So, if you discard, we would be dead even. We would be tied. Which means we'd still be unsuccessful. And Does we that have affect trigger all right lost now? effects in play, which wouldn't even matter. There's no lost effects. No, effect. yeah, it wouldn't do anything. Okay, so I will discard. I'm going to get rid of Quick Strike. And this, like listeners it. and viewers, is how games with Brandon and Brian usually go. <laughs> yeah, if you want to watch a tight ship with a real <laughs> captain, watch a Mitch video. If you want to watch a complete gong show, you've come to the right place. So we're going to travel the branching path. And we're going to bring the drummer down to get his beatings. Who looks like a real doofus. I, I, you know, listeners can see art. This is a video now. And, like, what is his deal? Anyways. What do you a... call a no-talent bum that hangs out with a band all day? <laughs> the drummer. <laughs> Sick. Okay. So, in terms of defense, what is this guy attacking for? One? <laughs> He's not too much of a threat. Okay, so I'm going to pound on him like the beat of a drum. So I'll deal him out a shadow card. Boom, boom. And I will blo block with Hama. Well, what is he attacking for? One, sure. I'll block with Hama. And the shadow card is... Nothing. That's good. And now Boromir will smash him. Uh, with... Well, you know what? I could have done that a different way. Boromir will not smash him. No, I... Drat. Okay, so he will take two damage. Or, sorry, no, he will take... Nothing. No damage? Nothing. Oh, boo! Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll hit him with the Vassal, too. Bang! Boy, Vassal! I was hoping we could use Dun here on him, but that shield of three is just too much. Shield of three, let it be. <laughs> okay, so now, do we want to exhaust Cave Torch and get rid of Branching Paths? I need to review Cave Torch really quick. So mm. if we we discard the top of the encounter deck and as an enemy, it goes in the staging area. I don't think enemies are as a big a deal for us. That's a tough one. Yeah, I'm... As first player, I will defer to your judgment on this. Uh, I say I, I say no. My deck is designed for questing. Um, questing, and if anything, well, yeah, let's not let things get out of control. Yeah, We're in control yeah. Right let's now. just we'll handle it simple. Okay, so let's ready up. Boop, and I become the first player. Threat goes up by one. You are now first player. And the most exciting part is draw a card. Oh, God. I've got to do a little bit of deck editing. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I have a very exciting hand that's about to get played, so... Oh, well, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm amped. Oop, I should probably draw a card, though. Yeah. You just never know. I'm going to hold tight my, my grip of cards that do nothing. Nothing? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Don't worry, this gets real in about it. All right, let's see. Then the first thing, I'm going to give us another ally, just in case we need him. I feel it like that's kind of a waste, unfortunately, but uh, let's get the old steward of Gondor out. The high-paid escort. And I will also put in... Hmm. I'm going to play one Campfire Tales. Yay! So you may go ahead and draw a card. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about, where <laughs> that's about where I'm at. Not the worst. I'm going to... Now, have we determined, am I allowed to use Steward of Gondor right now? H hell yeah, you are. Alrighty. Tell that person on the phone you're going to use it. I think I will. Hopefully that's not the people calling about my uh, mortgage refinance. 
little look into our personal lives. Okay, so I'm going to exhaust Strut of Gondor. Um, I suppose for the sake, I will actually exhaust the card. and Which I never do, by the way. Yeah, I, I generally don't either, so please don't hold it against me, viewers, if uh, I forget to. Um, now, when you quest with Theodrids, send a... Uh, little resource your way. Yeah, to Prince I'm, I'm happy to do so. He's uh, dying for it. I'm going to hold off on the rest of my moves for now. Okay, so Brian's playing a solo game and my heroes are watching. <laughs> Alright, so let's quest. So I will send two. And I will add the resource to Prince Imrahil from his main man, Theodred. You may have a resource. Thank you. I've already taken it. I figured as much. Okay, so let's, uh, let's quest here. So now we've got... Nine again? Uh, yeah. I am sending yeah, two, six, seven. And you're sending yep, yep, nine. Alright, so here we go. Abandoned mine. Oh, it has a lost effect. But it's a weak one because Do we have it's... do we have any in the encounter discard? Uh no goblins so far, okay. no. We just have one orc. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the second card, bam is the Silent Cavern. Yeah, Ooh, that's a nasty lost effect. Yes, it is. What is it, so quiet and tranquil, tranquil they fall asleep? <laughs> Makes sense. I suppose it does. Sleeping sentry. So we're looking at three, six, seven. So we do two progress on branching paths. Uh, do you have anything you're eager to discard? Uh, how much are we low? One, to kill branching paths. Uh... I can discard, I can discard. Yeah, I'm getting a little low in my hand. I did it! Okay, so now we will kill Branching Paths, triggering its effect. Uh, look at the top three cards in the encounter deck. Players must choose one of those to reveal and add to the staging area, moving the other two to the bottom of the deck. One. Two. Ugh. Three. Okay, so the options we have is Dwarven Forge. Each player must choose and discard one card from his hand if we get lost. Burning low. Each enemy and location currently in the staging area gets plus one threat until the end of phase. Plus three instead if it's a dark location. Players may exhaust a cave torch to cancel this effect. Or the mountain's root where it has X threat and X progress and X is the number of players in the game. I say now, we choose we, burning low and we uh, use cave torch to get rid of it. But does it even matter? Like, given that it's happening right now, who cares if it has more threat? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, no, th no sweat, no threat. Okay, so those all have a bajillion threat right now, but who cares? I think we played that right. I don't see any reason why not. Yeah. Well, we didn't technically add anything to staging air. Oh, but I almost got killed there because I didn't add these to the bottom of the deck. Go to the bottom and forever rest there. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye. Uh, do we want to travel? Maybe to the Silent Caverns? The abandoned It's only a threat of one, though. Let's go to the a... mine. I'm first player. Well, part of my thought was... The, that's a pretty nasty effect on silent caverns, but you are first player. Well, yeah, that's kind of my initial thought, but we could cave torch that away right now. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's okay. try. I'm first player. Yep. And, uh, you know, you can ask Andrew. When I'm first player, I make the decisions. <laughs> and I'm going to cave torch it right now because I want to fight someone, and I want to fight someone bad. So that's going right. to be three progress on that. Goodbye. Don't forget right now that, uh, let's see, what did that treachery do? Does it affect attack or just threat? Just threat. Okay. And showing up is a treachery that's going to do nothing. You see? Cave Torch is good. So, uh, now we, now is the time when we dance. Yes. Refresh. Boom, boom, boom. Threat boom. up. Boom. Boom. I am first player. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just got a pretty solid hand.
Yeah, things just got real on my end of the deck yeah. as well. Yeah. So I when really I get use planning, songs. I'm going to put the horn in its rightful owner's hands. That's sick. And then I'm going to play one, two, three, four. The eagles. And then I'm going to play one, two, three, four. That's the fastest resource drain ever. <laughs> one of my new favorite cards, which is uh, Aerostor. Hmm. Yes. How interesting. Yeah. Now, uh, as first player, despite the fact that you played all your cards before me... I thought I was first player. Nope, I'm first player. Okay, well, we're, we're doing a gangster style. <laughs> uh, I guess in that case... Well, it actually wouldn't affect anything in this particular matter. Suppose, you know, trying to follow the rules of table talk, suppose, Brandon, you had a hero that would be really useful if they could do multiple actions in one turn. Would, uh, would, any, would anyone benefit from that effect? Jeez. Well, <laughs> not particularly in this deck. Is there anybody that you should put yours on? I think Dun here could use it. All right, so then do it on Dun here. Okay. Because I feel ridiculous having that card on Boromir or Ember Hill when the whole yes. idea is that I would not play it on Boromir. I would quit the game before I allowed that to happen. Though I think that'd actually be pretty sweet. But the thing with Boromir is everyone's expecting his courage. Oh, and by the way, if you can remind me, uh, before we complete the game or lose, I want to use Boromir's discard ability. Cool. I'm I'm all for that. I have yet to see that take place in any game, despite my declaration that I was going to use it every opportunity possible. Well, on the video I filmed with Mitch, I could have finished the Watcher in the Water off with that ability, and I stupidly let it slide, which is so unlike me. Oh. I was really mad at myself after. I, I... I'm okay with that. You should be angry. Yeah, I tried cutting for the first time. Okay, so let's, <laughs> uh... Where are we now? We're gonna quest. Yep, we're all set. Alright, now I'm a legit quester. Um, I'm actually going to save Theodred's resource for myself because I'm not getting the songs I need right now. Okay. And I'm questing for six, and you're sending... Seven. Aren't you sending nine? Oh no, uh, nine is what we're always doing. Yes. I could add one to that with done here, but... Okay, so we're going for 13 then. I'm getting uh, ahead of myself here. So, let's quest. The first card revealed is... Hold up, I'm sending done here as well. Okay, so we're going for 14. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Lightless Passage. Ooh, four threat, four progress. Travel. Players must exhaust a cave torch to travel here. Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the second one, come on, enemy. All right. Is Stray Goblet. He is XX. Oh, I thought he was going to be X. X is the number of players in the game. Okay. So we're looking at, in terms of the threat, four, nine, and eh, eleven. So we're going to do three progress, which will be sufficient to get rid of the abandoned mine. Mm -hmm. Mine. Okay. Do we want to travel? I say... Let's, let's go to the Lightless Passage, yeah? Like, that's yeah. a huge amount of threat. Yes. Now it is yes. your decision. I'm not going to push you. I... We'll engage this act for location. Okay, very good. So I'll I'll exhaust the cave torch, so we can't use its ability this turn. What a shame. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have uh, optional engagement with the stray goblin, and I'll deal him a shadow card. I'll block with Boromir, and the shadow card is... Oh god. Shadow, attacking enemy gets plus X attack. Ooh. X is the number of players in the game. Oh, that's a Ooh. bad one. That's nasty. So he's attacking me for four, four. which is going to do two damage to Boromir. Which Boromir says, whatever. <laughs> okay, so, you know, like Mitch said, we're going to discard the shadow cards as soon as they trigger, just to keep things tidy. 
And now Boromir will ready up, as he's wont to do, and these guys will Hulk smash and kill this guy. And I will ready done here. Cool. Now I <laughs> used Hama to attack, so let me just see if I want to get something back. Well, uh, I can get a tactics event back, and I don't want to. Okay, so I think we can ready up. Zoom. Threat plus one. You are first player. Ooh. Now here's a card I'm willing to get behind. You know what? I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm first player, so I get to actually plan first this time, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to play the Eagles are coming. One, two, yep, three, oh, too bad that's a boon. Four. Brandon is not showing you the efficient way to do this. Five. Oh, you could look at the top five cards of your deck, right? Yes. Uh, shuffle the other ones back into your deck. Okay, so, you know, that's not entirely bad. Boom. Okay, uh, that is it for me for planning. Okay, I'm going to play one Mustering the Rohirrim. Search the top ten cards for any Rohan ally. Do, 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 See, do. now I'm sure you're doing it the efficient way. Yes, I am. Here the listeners are looking at my stagnant, useless playing surface. Why don't I show them how to do the look at function? Sure. So you go here, you go look at, top X cards, so I could have typed in five, said okay, looked at the ones that I wanted, and then closed this one off, and away we go, we're off to the races. I am going to add West Road Traveler to my hand. And what do I do? Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Shuffle deck. West Road Traveler goes into my hand. I will immediately play her for some Rohan action. Yep. I am ready. In terms of overall attractiveness, you know, from my perspective, I know it might be different for other people, right now you got a lot more hottie action going on your side of the table. I disagree. Have you looked at that eagle? <laughs> that is true. Look at his talons. And look at Boromir's beard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can we declare it a tie? <laughs> no. Now, let's get uh, let's get that mustering the Rohir out of here. Yep. My bad. Whoops. Because it's mustering my ire and my anger. All right. Okay, so let's uh, commit people to the quest. I'm once again going to... Uh, how badly would you need Theodred's resource? Um, no, not too badly. Okay. I'm, I'm struggling with my spirit resources, so I'm going to hang on to him if I can. You're like as rich as you can get in leadership resources, yep, though. Yep. All I need is one of my songs to come out, and I'm all set. Okay, so now you're sending 9, and I'm sending 6, so 15 is our total. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, do we want to... I, I doubt we want to, but can... Uh, ah, having played West Road Traveler, do we want to consider switching our active location? I don't think so. I didn't think so either. I just want to make sure we addressed it. Yeah. Oh, my okay. cat Misty has decided to show up and play. Okay, so that is our quest. Let's start revealing quest cards. Bam! Burn low. When revealed, each enemy and location currently in staging has plus one threat until end of phase, plus three if that's a dark location. Players may exhaust a cave torch to cancel this effect. I think I'm going to cancel it. I believe that's a smart move. Yep. Poor cave torch. It's not getting to burn like it wants to. Okay, and our second card is this stupid one, Doomed One. When revealed, reveal X additional cards from the encounter deck and add them to the staging area. X is the number of players in the game. No. So it's... Oh, good man. Now, yeah. the doomed one does trigger. Yes. So I'm at 36. But I am not having any of that effect right now. I want to get through this quest. We that is put... proper. That is proper. You know, that was yeah. a real G move there. We've got nothing on the quest right now. That needs to change. Yes. So we've got four threat in the staging area. So we are going to put 11 progress. So we have one, two, three, four... Goodbye. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now we got 7 on there. That's pretty respectable. Yes. Do we want to travel to the Twisting Passage? I'm going to go ahead and say yes at this point. Yeah, I think let's let's get rid of it. All right. Okay, so we're on to the next round. Boop, boop, boop. I wish it had Atari sound effects for when you added resources. That's my <laughs> only wish about this game. So you are the first player now. Yes. And I am the drawing player. Oh, boy. Hmm. Interesting choice here. As first player, I'm going to play the Song of Arendil on Eowyn. Spoiler alert, this card is purely in my deck as a card draw mechanic. That was not worth it. Oh, that actually works quite well with my uh, my deck. It can help, yes. Yeah. Um, ugh, that is not positive. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's continue. I'm done. Okay, I've got... Uh, this has been pretty enemy light, so I'm going to actually discard a card that I've declared at one point in my life to be the best tactics card in the game. So I'm going to use Aristor's ability to ditch Faint... And draw a card. Meh. Guarantee you we are about to hit the hardest enemy. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that could end up being okay for moi. Okay, so I am going to play... Uh, one, two, three. Boromir is getting a little support from his buddies, the Eagles. Mm-hmm. And that is all. Can we just take a quick moment to address the fact that support of the Eagles is not a restricted attachment? Yeah, it's bonkers. It's ridiculous. Wow. Look at that. Okay. So Boromir just got real. Mm -hmm. You know what's the best is two Eagles. Because then you get to choose attack and defense and it becomes power everything. Two support of the Eagles, you mean? Yeah. Yes. What did I say? You said just said two eagles. Well, two eagles. Not two eagles is good as well, but that's fairly self-explanatory. Let's quest. Let's. Put on your questing shoes and quest with me. I'm keeping my resource. Very good. It's your want to do so. Okay, so are we doing the same thing? 15? Uh, nine for me. Actually, no, I'm just using done here for 10. Okay, so we're going to do the real deal 16. It's wow, we're going to pass this with yeah, flying it's colors. time to pass this quest off. I, I almost feel like backing, backing it up, but that's okay. We'll go with that. Okay, so we have a stray goblin. That's okay, goblin. And another branching path. Mm -hmm. For a total of two, four threat, uh, which gives us 12 progress. So we have one, two, come on now, one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Goodbye. So we have completed the first stage of the quest, so let's go on to stage 2. Time carries no weight in the darkness, and the hours creep no, by. Wow. Do we have to do our locate test? Why? Uh, the location that you just got rid of. Force, before play. Oh, we do. We do. Thank you. Uh, who's first player? I am, right? No, I am. Oh, good. Ugh. Um, okay, so, no, we only have to do the one test, is that correct? Well, assuming that we get, that we pass it. Right. Okay, I'm going to discard one Snowborn Scout. Alright, and the... Do your job, my man. Boom! It's a fail. Oh, boy. Okay. So the idea is we gotta keep trying this until we pass, right? Well, I think that's what you normally can do, but it says the first player must make a locate test. If this test is failed, do not place any progress tokens on Twisting Passage and trigger all lost effects in play. So, if we don't place any progress tokens on it... What does... happens to those other ones? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that means that we don't... We don't do any well, I don't progress. think we make any progress, which is ridiculous. Well, that's really bad. Um... 
for the purposes of this playthrough, should we just assume that's what the ruling is? Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Okay, then I'm gonna play another Snowborn Scout. Or discard, I guess. Can we do another locate test? I believe so. I'm gonna consult the rules really quick just to be sure. I think you yeah, I think you can discard again. <laughs> you have your little paper insert there. If the discarded encounter has pass, then the test succeeds. No ill effects trigger. If the card does not have pass, then the player has not succeeded, but may attempt the test again, repeating this action until either the test is successful or he no longer wishes or is able to discard more cards. Okay, well, do it again. I did. Here we go. Uh, you failed. This is not okay. Okay, go again. I'm going to try... Oh, I don't want to use this. Play a higher card. value card. That's what the deck wants. Uh... Okay, this will pass. No, it failed. Come on! <laughs> okay, next card. This is my last card. <laughs> well, make it a good one. Oh, jeez. Uh, oops, <laughs> I'm going to discard the top of my deck. Wait, shoot. What did I just do there? Moves card. Um, okay, let's take a look at what this is. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, dude, oh, it come failed! come on! Yikes. Oh, God, that's terrible. All right, so back off all that progress we just thought we made. So that would have been... That's insane. What do we have here? Two, four, nine. So that would have been seven progress that we have to remove here. Wow, you suck at locate tests. Welcome to the reason I do not always appreciate this game, viewers. Okay, so we've got seven progress on there, and we are a pair of total losers. And we have another one waiting for us in the st Oh, that's branching paths, never mind. Yeah. Okay, so I will optionally engage the stray goblin. Ugh. And I will deal a shadow card. And I will block with... What is he doing? Two? Yeah, I'll block with Boromir activating the support of the eagles, getting two extra defense, so he has four defense. Nothing's getting through that. Mm-mm. Well, especially since it's nothing. Hey, thanks for drawing a pass card. Yeah, and I will increase my threat by one. Ready, Boromir, and Hulk smash. I watched the Avengers recently. You made an impact on me. I okay, will. So I will we... absorb your threat for you because I can. Oh, you're a good man. I know. So I'm back down to thirty-seven. <laughs> okay, so let's exhaust the cave torch. Who's first player? You or me? Me. Uh, me. Okay, you. Okay, yeah, I see. When it's got this little pause button, it's always you. Right. Okay. Correct. Uh, um, would you like me to dis uh, exhaust the cave torch to get branching paths? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. and it's a dark location, so we would have had... Oh, but it didn't matter because we lost anyways. Okay, so I'll, I will exhaust this to put three progress on here. I'll do the cave torch check. He goes into play. When revealed, the first player draws one card, then that player must choose and discard four cards from his hand at Fable. Ha! Well, so you, I, kind I of guess I'm just discarding that. a card. And now our branching oh. path. Uh, <laughs> can we choose Durin's Greaves? I don't see any reason why we can't. After branching path leaves play as an explored location, look at the top three cards in counter deck. Players must choose one of those to reveal and add to the stage here and move the other two. <laughs> All right, then. The very first 3D studio rendering ever. <laughs> Look how cheesy that is. <laughs> I have a pair of boots like that sitting in my closet. It looks like someone took their, like, Timberlands and wrapped them in tinfoil. Like, they uh, really... Hmm, who am I going to attach these to? Yes. I choose Eowyn. You take control and do with them as you will. I will give them to... I assume Boromir will be your primary defender. 
Yeah, he's my primary everything. Here is your boots. Here are your boots. Okay, so now uh, let's ready up. Yay. Thread up by one. You are now first player. God, I got a real knack for drawing these. Oh, and I forgot to use my Hama ability. Well, that'll just help me remember next time. <laughs> okay, so... You know what? I'm going to play... One, two, three, four, five. I haven't seen any songs yet. Radagast is going to come chill. Ooh. All right, that's it for me. You plan away. I have nothing. They're like the goggles. Okay, I'm very close quest. to actually having nothing. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I should have used his ability. Okay, whatever. You know, I don't am even ready. Need that much. Okay, so I'm sending six, and you're sending. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we'll do sixteen again. When revealed, the first player makes a locate test. If the test is failed, deal two damage to all characters and trigger all lost effects in play. Oh my. Uh, I don't want to discard any of my cards, so I'm just going to let that fail. Brian, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now watch how, watch how a man does a locate test. One useless card, one pass. Bam. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. This is a valiant sacrifice indeed. Ba bam There we go. You see? Alrighty. Not so bad. Yeah, whatever. No one likes you. That is done. I've technically saved the day, I guess. <laughs> I guess. And an abandoned mind is revealed. Oh, well, here they come yeah. anyway. Oh, yeah. no, they went to the bottom of the... Thing. Oh, that's a lost effect anyway. Don't yeah. worry. I I'll get it straight one of these days. Okay, so now we've got three, six progress, so we can put ten on... But before we do that, I must make a locate test. <laughs> Great. Yep, have fun. Okay, so here we go. Come on, please, we really need this. Damn it. I do uh, not care for the locate test. I've got <laughs> I've got two cards I like here. I really enjoyed the mechanic of uh, the escape test. But this one, I think, is just ridiculous. Oh, man. Locate my hatred for this game. Well, here's my last card. Oh. And fail. Oh, come on. Am I putting these back in the wrong spots? No, I don't I'm think not. so. God. God, Zooks. Okay, well, we're total losers. Yay. So no progress gets put on this, and now we get to trigger the lost effect. Return the top two goblin enemies in the encounter discard pile to the staging area, if able. <laughs> Look at top, I don't know, ten. Hey, look on the bright side. When the cave spider attacks you, you won't have to discard anything. Right on. Oh, God. Okay. We are in trouble. Yes, we are. Uh, first things first, I'm going to ready done here. <sighs> Goodness. Uh, what's your threat? I'm at 32. Okay, so, so these are these are all heading. They're, all, they're all coming at us. Okay, so I'll take the uh, spider since it's mm -hmm. the most threatening. And now when we go to the optional engagements, I will take the stray. And you end up with the sneak. Now, when he engages the player, discard the top of the encounter deck. If it's a treachery card, it engages the next player, so that could be me. And it is not. 
Okay. Hmm, interesting. So I shall deal out shadow cards. We've got cards, overlapping cards here. It is mayhem. Uh, I will defend... This guy's got two attack. I'll defend with the Sea Eagles of the Misty Mountains. I'm defending the Stray Goblins attack. What is that guy got? Two? Okay. Denada. Okay, and... I will... Defend here with Boromir, not using support of the Eagles just yet. Phew, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> Already, my man B. I will absorb that threat. Oh, thank you. Okay, and then I will attack. Oh, now we go through my attack first. Oh, of all. sorry. Yeah, okay, um, you're going to defend. Oh, boy, I do not know what to do here. Because I can't. Are are you able to use any range care? Nope. <laughs> I am rangeless. I cannot kill this guy, so I am just going to defend with Dunn here. Okay. And his shadow card is nothing. Sweet. Alright, no damage then. It's a pass test. Okay, so now we can attack. So I'm going to attack with these two lads killing the stray. And I'll ready up Boromir. Did you want that one, or did you want me to have it? Say again? The threat. Oh, um, what are you at? 38. I'll take it. You're the best. And so I will exhaust support of the you. eagles. And I will do three damage here. What is damage? Three. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll kill him. Sorry. He's dead. Hooray. Three plus two is five. Okay, and uh, you're not attacking that guy. No, I, well, I could attack with Escort from Aderas for zero. Okay, let's ready up. <laughs> attack, ineffective. <laughs> Threat plus one. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Draw a card. I'm first player, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, did we lose any allies on that turn? No. Okay. I'm going to play this fellow. Oh, hello, Elf Helm. Now I've gotten a. C Are you done? Yes. <laughs> Look at that seventeen leadership. I got a card that I need and that I like, but it's not a card that I want. And I'm a player who plays with what they want. So I'm going to use Aristor's ability to discard the Song of Kings like a madman. Oh, God. I should have kept the Song of Kings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> discard the Lich Pin of my deck to get <laughs> something that's currently useless to me. Okay. Let's quest. Yay. I'm going to save this. This is one. contributing four. Oh, actually, I don't need to do that anymore. I'll go for cease. Woohoo. And you're doing ten? Yes. Sixteen. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. Great cave troll. Great. Uh, God. <laughs> and the lightless passage. Okay, so we're looking at 5, 6, 7, 10, 11. Oop, I'm sorry. I'm sending... Yeah, I am sending 10. My bad. Okay, so we've got 11. Now you must make a locate test, Brian. <laughs> Did you play your last card? Nope, here it goes. All right, the Valiant Sack. You know what, uh, listeners, I'm going to go Babe Ruth on this one. I'm going to call it. It's a pass. Damn. This is such a joke. It's a fail. I. That's it. That's all I have in my hand. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's done. How's our week? Okay, 
So now we've got uh, a cave troll up here with 38, and I'm at 39. So he's coming down here, and he means business. All right, cave troll. Rock and roll. Out of control. So, oh man, Shadows. this is really going to mess me up. Could he survive? No. Oh yeah, this is bad news. Okay, this is this is about the time when we lose. Mm hmm Shadow cards are coming. Who are you defending your uh, sneak with? I will first of all ready done here, and I will defend with done here. Okay. Shadow, attacking enemy gets plus one attack, plus two instead of attacking the last player, which he's not. Yay! Uh, so he... Shoot, that means done here does take a damage. Yep. And... Oh, of course. I did not do that correctly. So he lingers for another round. <laughs> okay, so here... Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Because, you know, I'm going to lose my eagle here, which is supposed to support Boromir. But we are in the combat phase, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll exhaust support of the eagles for its attack ability. And now I'll defend with support of the or uh, eagles of the Misty Mountains. No shadow. It dies. Goodbye. Just making sure I'm going to play this okay. Until end of phase, that adds that ally. Okay, so he's going to get plus two. That'll ready up Prince Imrahil. That'll give me a resource. It's not the end of the world. Uh, okay, so are you going to do some attacks? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And... I think, uh... Oh, yeah, well, I may as well attack with Elfhelm for two. Yeah, so you do a damage to him, right? Yeah. That's something. Okay, and I'm going to attack for three... And escort. Eight... Eleven... So I'm going to hit him for eight damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... And he's not dead, God, which so is close. ridiculous. Yeah. Now, I attacked with Hama, so I'm going to uh, draw. The eagles are coming. And then I'm going to discard sneak attack. And I'm immediately going to play the eagles are coming. So let's look at the top five cards of my deck. Come on, eagles! One eagle. Two eagles. Three eagle! <laughs> That's pretty good for when we have to make locate tests. You know the three saying? eagles are coming. Yeah, and I've got another eagles are coming, so I'm instantly going to play the eagles are coming. I want to look at five. Eagles. Eagles. Close that. Shuffle. Uh, I'll play Eagles are coming. <laughs> Look at five cards. Oh, God, I missed. Damn it. Why is support of Eagles a boon? Should be an Eagle. <laughs> All right, close that. Shuffle that business. And we are on to our next turn. Bzz. Hooray! You are first player. Draw. Ooh. Boy, I am really low on leadership resources. Now, should I play a bunch of stuff, or should I keep it around for tests? Um... Let's keep it for the test. We gotta get that location out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna send out one chump blocker. And one chump blocker alone. Um, and that's unfortunately going to be Durvaso. Oh. Well, you know what? It's gonna be Winged Guardians. I like, yeah, I like Vassal better. That's his job. It's true. And he's gonna get smashed. 
Buddy, well, don't give for- me a resource. Don't forget Radagast's ability to use his resources to heal your eagles as well. Yeah, but with cave trolls, they, they don't do injuries yes, you can cave, get healed yes, from. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> Look at the size of that rock he's holding up. <laughs> he is rocking out with his rock out. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's quest, I guess. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, sorry. Plan away, my man. Plan. Two, three. Amanda, plan a canal, Panama. Rider of the mark. Hey. That's enough. This is the second video that's turned into a semi- musical episode <laughs> okay so you're just playing the rider of the mark that is that's all the cards in my hand <laughs> okay so i'm gonna quest for two four six are you changing the game am i oh i mean like normally you quest for 10 oh uh no i think i'm still balancing out i'll be sending 10 okay so we're at yeah i'm gonna keep it at 10 16 here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. The Goblin Warlord. He's a pain. What's your threat at? Uh, 40. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's getting real. And this thing. When oh, revealed, boy. each player must exhaust one character he controls if able. Then, if any player controls no unexhausted characters, fatigue gains surge. I've done mine. Go to sleep, Boromir. <laughs> And rise once again like the mighty phoenix. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, you're good, man. Boop. Okay, so now, and listeners, the game doesn't make that weird Atari sound. That's me. So now we're going to have, uh, what do we have here? Four. This is still getting buffed. So nine, 10, 11, 12 to our 16. So we're doing four progress. Oh, God. Do you have a card? No. You don't have any cards in hand. No. You're first player, though. I know, but we're only going to do four progress. And I want to get Twisting Passages out of there. Oh. Um, so, jeez. Yeah, I got... Okay, I'm going to discard a card to bring us up to five to yeah. get rid of it. And then only have two cards to do tests. Okay, so I'm discarding Cat, One of my favorite pet cards <laughs> in the game. And uh, here goes the test. I don't even want to do the test. I don't either. This they, they, We've got to run into him at this point. Come on. If come we on. do the test and fail, rage quit. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, at least we got rid of a cave troll. Yeah, see ya. That winged guardian just killed it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is so depressing. What's wrong with this game? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Is this even right? Are we playing this right? No, I'm I'm consulting the rules. Like, is there a, a specific FAQ for twisting passage? This is idiotic. More like twisting passage. What is the what rules are you consulting? That little paper. I, thing? I'm looking at the long dark, hoping that there was maybe some sort of note about uh, twisting passage that our progress tokens may in fact carry pass over. On. Yeah. But they don't. I mean, there's nothing on here that says it would. And I would interpret the rules that the active location always acts as a buffer yeah. unless it specifically says to bypass it. Well, anyways, let's keep playing as we're playing. So we failed. Uh, let's trigger the lost effects. Oh, my God. Each player must choose and discard one ally he controls from play if able. Uh, all right. There goes mine. Trigger your Boromir effect. Twice. Yeah. Ooh, who are you picking? Son of a beefer. Get rid of Aristor. I guess so. Yeah. I'm easily making up for his questing. Yeah, but he... Well, I guess so. You need cards to discard cards. Okay, and the... Lost. Return the top two goblin enemies in the encounter discard pile to the staging area. This is not acceptable. Okay, I... Um... One, two, close. I closed and shuffled before. They, people are going to have a heyday looking for mistakes in this video. <laughs> okay, so now we've got all these guys here. And, uh... We're boned. <laughs> this is not looking good. Oh, boy. Um... Okay, so in terms of 
engagements. What's your threat at? I'm at 37. They're all coming. Oh, no, I guess I get to skip the Goblin Warlord. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Okay, so you're first player, right? Yeah, I got this. Yeah, so, so I will... Just, just do it the natural way. Well, I, do, you, do you want me to engage two guys? Because I could optionally engage... Well, you will be engaging two guys. Three, I mean. No, one of us... I have to take at least... Oh, no, I see. Yeah, because you can't take the chieftain. Can you handle all of them? Oh, no, but then the chieftain would do his check first, and then you would get the other guy. So which one do you not want to deal with? The follower or the stray? Well, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Um, I... Probably oh the, the follower, right? I do not want him. Yeah, oh, wait, I don't. when revealed, goblin follower engages the last player. Oh. Who's that? That's me. Yay. <laughs> so boned. Okay, so now these guys come over here. Okay. Awesome. So I will exhaust support of the eagles to add four to Boromir's defense. <laughs> so he is now a six defender, which is pretty sick. Um, and I'll deal with the shadow cards. Okay, who are you defending? Who who do you want to defend first? I don't even care anymore. Okay, so you're defending Goblin Sneak. By I'm who? gonna defend him with. He's attacking for one. They know with. Oh my goodness. And the other guy's attacking for three. I am so screwed. Um, okay, hang on. I just gotta think this out. Uh, yikers. Let me do the follower first. Follower's gonna attack Elf Helm. Okay. No shadow. Okay. No shadow. Okay. So he takes one. I will defend with. Done here. No. What? Oh. <laughs> uh. It's a okay. Sneaker. I'm just gonna go with done here because I already saw the card. The defending player must exhaust one character he controls the fable. Ridiculous. All right, so Theodred's done. I will use Unexpected Courage to ready Theod uh, done here. Okay. So now on to the attack, or sorry, my defenses. So I will defend with uh, Winged Guardian here, as not to risk Boromir. And the Shadow, attack enemy gets plus one attack. Mm. You dead, birdie. He technically got plus three. And then we get the next one. I'll defend with Boromir. No shadow. I'll absorb. Okay. I will defend with Boromir. <laughs> <laughs> no damage. You can take this one. <laughs> Already up. Okay, so now let me think about it here. The troll has three. All these guys have three. I really want to kill the troll. Yes. Yes, I do want to kill the troll. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to attack with Hama and Boromir to. Do I believe technically I attack first? Oh, Dun sorry. Here. Sorry. Dun here kills the goblin sneak. Take that sneaker. Ah. Okay. That only took four turns. So I will now kill the troll. Yay! Victory three. Up you go. And then I will do one damage. Oops, not a progress token. I will do one damage to the stray goblin. I'm adding the cave troll to one of my decks just so we can get it off the playing field. Okie dokie. So I think we're ready to ready. Yeah. Tough times. Tough times. <laughs> wow, I got a completely useless card. Starting to wonder if I took 
Uh, am I the first player now? I am. What? I don't know, are you? I think so. Alright, you are. Alright. Here's another one of these ladies. Wow. It's like just just kidding. I'm gonna save that for a locate test. It's like all your buddies' sisters I showing really up. I really don't need her right now. Yeah, I'm also going to hold for the locate test, supposing that we have to do it again. Yeah. Which, if we have to do it again, I give up. Okay, so let's quest. I'm only sending four this time, because things got tougher in Boromir land. Eight, ten for me. So we're doing fourteen. <laughs> things are just progressively wasting here. <laughs> Should we? No. Yeah. Let's cave torch away the abandoned mine. Yeah? After? Uh, yes. Yeah, all right. Goodbye. 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 It's only if it's no, that was a pass! Oh, shit. Oh, we still haven't done our staging, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Wow, and there was a legitimate show of emotion on the video. <laughs> Drop the ass bomb. Okay, so uh, now let's do our quest. Okay, that's not too bad. No pass. Oh, pass. Okay, so we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're ready to do 3 progress on Twisting Passage. We're not even going to clear it. Um, yeah, I was going to say I could discard, but if I do that, we can't pass the locate test. Okay, you want to do the test? Let's just do the test. Yeah. Fail plug. <laughs> it's almost rage quit time. I, I, are you still saying almost? Uh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, so listeners, this is how you lose the the long dark. <laughs> uh, the chances of this video actually being presented to any of you is incredibly low. Uh, but if you do see this, you, you see that sometimes you get stuck. Uh, if you look below the video, there's a comment section. It's going to get filled up with mistakes, etc. that we made. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay, right? Everybody's learning this game together uh, on a constant basis. Now, the one thing that I'm wondering about is Twisting Passage. Does it buffer out all that additional threat? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to hear people's thoughts on this. Now, yes. This is, if, if, if we are interpreting the card correctly, which I believe we are, yeah. uh, there, something has to be done about this. I don't know. I don't know what, we couldn't have really done anything different. I guess never travel there is one option, or uh, use like Denethor or someone that can look at the encounter deck. Yeah, and set up a pass. This is uh, this is a, a very classic example of something I very much dislike about this game. This is complete luck. Randomo. We we stacked our hands specifically to be able to take out this card, and. And we weren't able to after how many locate tests did we do on this thing? X, where X is one less than the number of players in the game. What? <laughs> so the point is, I mean, we, we discarded at least, I know I personally discarded at least six cards. I believe you did at least five. Yes, at least um, that. Yeah, and and the fact that we were unable to pass it, that is insane. I loved the escape mechanic that was established during the Mirkwood cycle. It was fantastic. It was a perfect... It, it was a skill... Obviously, there's still some element of luck involved because you don't know what the escape value of the cards is, but... You could plan for it. Right, you can plan for it and you can address it. If we really needed to hammer it out, we could have taken a risk not sent as many people for the quest, and saved everybody for the escape test instead. I could have played Unexpected Courage on Eowyn, which would have given her that extra ability to, to add in that extra four willpower. That was a great mechanic. I absolutely loved it. This is BS, in my opinion. Now, let's, uh, let's deal or no deal. Let's look at the remaining eight cards in the encounter deck. Agreed. Brian, would you have continued? I would choose encounter card one. Fail. Fail. <laughs> Pass. Fail. 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 
Fail. Insane. Do we have this deck constructed correctly? Uh, I guess that is something we would need to take a look at. But... Because I feel like we've seen about a hundred copies of Goblin Follower. Well, they kept... Um... No, Follower we haven't seen a ton of. We've seen a lot of the Goblin Sneak, but that's because they kept getting thrown back into the... Into the uh, oh, yeah, that lost effect was So triggering. that makes sense. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I want to take a look at my... My uh, deck itself, because I have been waiting for a Spirit Song... To use up my 23 leadership resources. Yeah, I made some terrible choices on what to keep and what to pitch. I'm just always so keen to pitch. I think mostly because I'm just curious. I just want to see sure. what's going to happen. When in reality, I should just keep what I've got. Look, there's another follower. How many copies of follower are there? Four total? Ugh. Yeah. Okay. So, listeners, uh, thanks so much for watching. I guess your viewers as well. Uh, we will get Mitch back on here to get a competent playthrough. Uh, you can check us out on hey. our podcast. I'm kidding. I'm here. <laughs> uh, which is bi-weekly, and you can find it at cardboardoftherings.com. And you can check us out on Facebook. And if you feel like it, you can email us. It's cardboardoftherings at gmail.com. That's cardboardoftherings, all one word, at gmail.com. And do make liberal use of the comment field below. Uh, our feelings aren't going to be hurt if you point out an error or two. We were sort of just muddling through this quest. I, I, we, we really haven't played it too many times, so don't be afraid to hurt our feelings. We love it. Anyways, uh, keep checking our YouTube channel. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Uh, we'll be putting out these videos on a semi-regular basis. And do check out the podcast. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. says, if I was home, I'd hop on Skype. Hope you can figure it out. He just would just put in brackets, stupid fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, he's gonna hear us. Yes. Okay. So, Mitch, uh, you can you can begin the actual editing. <laughs>